Thank you for having me, Trevor. Good for you to be here. It's exciting to have you on this side of the world. Um, I remember when I first saw your work, it, it, it enthralled me, it captured me, and I loved it as a fellow South African. But then when I saw it blow up on the world stage, it did something I, I never thought I could feel, because art has always felt like it's been like a European thing, yep. you know? It's like, oh, that's art. Yep. And then it's like, the Africans make nice things. They'd be like, oh, this is cute. Where did you pick this up, you know? <laughs> but, but, but you're starting to shake that. You're starting to change all of that. You just came back from your own showing in Paris, you know, where people, like, your artwork's all, so, all sold out. Yeah. Who is Nelson Makamo, and, and why do you think you're experiencing this success in the art world? Um, well, I mean, I don't know, even know where to start. Um, I mean, art has always been part of me. Right. Uh, growing up, uh, I mean, I grew up, um, I was born in a small town in South Africa. Um, it was quite interesting because growing up, toys were never actually an option as a black child. Right. So you had to create your own choice. Why do you think it connects with so many people from different walks of life? Because so many people would think of African art as African art, but it's like, no, this is art. Yeah. And you happen to be South African. I think, like, one of the privileges that I actually had was, um, um, I mean, I studied in a community-based college. Right. And um, I applied for residency, um, which um, I went to Italy for three months. I think having to have an experience of outside South Africa, that has actually helped me to sort of view things, not for only from a, an African perspective, but to actually look at things from a, glo a global perspective as well. Right. I started creating work more like a language, a universal language, um, in a way that um, it was quite interesting because the first thing that I did was to use a child as a subject in my work. Yeah, we've seen some of those amazing pictures. You, you've got these images of children, and I think on the cover of Time, they called it the art of hope. Yeah. You know, it, 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 because it, 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 it showed South Africa and Africanness in a very different way. For so long, we've seen art that makes it... it it's all about poverty. It's yeah. all about pain. It's all about suffering. And here, these images, you can, in, you can... They're open to interpretation, but they feel hopeful. They feel young. They feel like children who live in Africa. And the scale of them is also huge. I mean, we have some, some pictures of you, you, you know, like, working on some of your artworks. You, you have giant, giant pictures that you create. Why the children? Why their eyes? Why the glasses? What, is, what does that symbolize? I had to use a reference that was too close to me, which is, was a child, an African child. And the reason why I also did that was the fact that if you look at how the image of an African child was portrayed globally, it was portrayed either hungry, disadvantaged, and all of that as well. But if you've been to Africa and you realize that none of those things, it's almost like a taboo. Yes. And um, I had to go back and actually reintroduce how the way we are as Africans.